right, what's going on today, YouTube? Welcome back to your favorite cyclist YouTube channel. This week, we're taking a look at some bike mirrors and getting them installed and see how they work. But before we get into today's video, if you are new to my channel, make sure you head down below, hit that subscribe button for me. If you already are subscribed, make sure that little bell icon right next to that is checked off. That way you get notified every time I upload. That way you don't miss any of this awesome cycling content we got on this channel. So right on to the video, I got reached out to by a company called Kemimoto. Some of you guys may have heard of them before. They make a lot of different stuff for motorcycles, scooters, bicycles, all sorts of stuff. And they reached out and said, hey, we have a bike mirror we want you to try. I said, okay, cool, bike mirror. I haven't had a bike mirror since middle school. But it's been a long time suffering with a bike mirror. So I was like, cool, let's take a look at a bike mirror, see what we can make happen here. And you're gonna wanna hang around to the end of the video because I have some special stuff to share with you guys for watching this video. So they sent me out a bike mirror here and uh, sadly it doesn't say the name on it. It was like showcase Kemimoto. It just says bike mirror on there. So it says all road, mountain, and road. So you can use this anywhere you wanna use it. It's going to 360 degrees. So I'm guessing you turn the mirror all the way around. They said, hey, take a look at it, install it, give it a shot, see what you think. So I've got, so let's go ahead, uh, we'll open this guy up, see what's uh, see what's inside. Let's see what kind of fanciness we got in a mirror. This is a pretty decent sized box too. I mean, that's the size of my head. It's about what, two of my head? It's a long box. So let's pull this guy out of here. So good packages and bubble wrap. All right, nothing else in there. Let's see what we got. All right, so we got our mirror itself right there. I can see myself looking good. You can see yourselves in there. Look at that. Oh, yeah. It's got a little protective cover on the mirror, which is nice. Nice, so it doesn't get scratched up. We'll have to see if that actually worked or not. But let's take a look at the clamp here. So clamp, it's got a quick release. A little style, nice and easy. Just unscrew it. And we should just be able to unscrew that and then flip it up and this thing just opens. And inside of here, you got a little spacer in here. Oh, just keyed, that's nice. Got a little keyed, little hole there so it fits in that hole at the bottom so it makes sure it doesn't move around. And it's got a lip on the other side to make sure it doesn't slide through. Kind of nice thing. If you've used some of these little spacers, you know they kind of aren't the best sometimes. Okay, so we got some more spacers. Kind of a rubber spacer here, pretty thick guy if you have some really thin handlebars. Like I said, I think this is for like scooters or bicycles. So, do you have kind of a thinner bar? Might work for you. I've got a standard little rubber space, which is probably what we're gonna use here just to protect the handlebars. So, mirrors. So these guys are supposed to twist, is what they're supposed to do. So, oh, oh yeah. They'll twist where, kind of go wherever you want them to go. If I want it like that, and then let's twist it up. Hey, that's kind of neat. <laughs> oh, okay. And then you can turn it on the mount and it will hold it in place. Oh, that's kind of neat. That's kind of cool. That's the fanciest mirror I've ever seen. All right, so let's move over to the fat bike. Let's, let's get this guy installed. Should be pretty simple to install. Let's get over to the handlebars and get this installed. So up at the bars here, obviously this is my fat bike here. They, they might not look like your standard bars. These are just bamboo bars. They're the same thing as the standard bars, same thickness, right where you want to put the mirror. So we're gonna try them. But if you do want a set of sick bamboo bars, push here, check them out. Link in the description, of course, because they're, they're amazing. So. Let's go throw this thing on here. So what's my best option here? So we got this ring right here for the spacer. It's supposed to go in there. That guy is not quite enough to make a tight seal. So I think we're gonna use this rubber guy. So there we go, let's put that in there and then let's try and shove it on now. Ah, oh, much better. Okay, so there's that guy. And then we just get our mirror, and I want this little, uh, I want the little adjustment screw on the back just to make it easier to see. So let's kind of open it up some, throw it on. There we go. Okay, and then this is the guy, if we just pull our washer up right there, this guy should just flip back down, make sure the washer gets under where it's supposed to be, and then we just tighten it down. And we'll see how tight we actually have to get this. So that's bottomed out, as tight as it can go. Yeah, it's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, there's a very glossy finish on them, but ultimately, that's not bad. It's not going anywhere. So we go up to our mirror part and we uh, grab our little arrow, maybe. Oh, oh, the mirror moves. What? So you can change where the mirror's in. That is sick. What? Oh, that's cool. That's a bonus. 
Oh, we gotta try this thing out. That's the coolest mirror ever. So let's pull off our little film on our mirror and oh, that looks shiny. That's actually a really good job. I don't see any scratch on there at all. Do you, do you guys see a scratch? I don't see a scratch. Looks pretty good. Okay, okay. So I'm going to kind of angle mine out more. Maybe like that. That's so a little bit past where my arm would be. Oh, that looks pretty cool. It's been a long time since I put a mirror on a bike, but that looks kind of cool. You get two of these guys? There you go. That'll look pretty sick. Okay, so that's installed. Super easy to install. Super easy. You can take it off whenever you want. If you want to take it off or put it on, if you're on your mountain bike and you commute on your mountain bike, you can throw a mirror on and ride it through mirror. You'd actually probably want on this side, now that I think about it, because that's the side you'd be riding. If you're riding with traffic in the bike lane, this is the side you want to see on your left side. I'm going to look over your shoulder. So, probably put it on the wrong side, but I'm going to do it on the right side just because it's easier for me to see. So, that's kind of cool. Okay. So, that's installed. Let's go take it for a ride real quick. Let's see how it looks. See how it works. See if we can actually see behind us. If we got to make some more adjustments or, you know, what we got to do. So, let's go take it out for a ride real quick. Okay, so let's take a look here. So, there's our mirror. And it's actually pretty, it's pretty decent. It's a really wide view. And if I want to see a little higher, I can kind of push the mirror up. See a little higher up there. Kind of look towards me if I want to look towards me and really angle this out if I want to angle it way out. That's actually a pretty sick mirror. So yeah, I mean, looking at this, that's a pretty, that gives pretty good clarity. Like, it's clear, like super clear. You can angle it however you want. You can move the stem however you want. Let's just say this mirror is way better than the ones I've tested before, way better. That's pretty neat. I can see everything perfectly behind me. I don't know how much you guys are going to be able to see, but that's pretty neat. So there's the unboxing and install of the, can't even see it's way up there, of the Kemimoto mirror. Pretty cool. I like it. That's probably the coolest mirror I've ridden with. I've ridden with some and they're pretty crappy. That one's not bad. That one's pretty nice. It's the, with, the, with the movable mirror part and then the long flexible stem, you can use that for whatever you want. And I think it would work good. And it doesn't have the weak points of where I've had mirrors break in the past, which is generally down here at the stem. It doesn't have the same kind of design stem with a much, I'd say sturdier stem than that. And it's something you can take off and move between bikes. If you have multiple bikes and you want to ride it, or like I said, if you have a mountain bike, you ride during the week to work and throw that on there. Then you hit the trails on the weekend, take that mirror off, rip down the trail, and you're perfect, and you'll be good. Don't have to worry about a big old mirror in the way. So, great mirror. Check it out. I'll have a link in the description down below so you can pick one up for yourselves so if you want. They're very affordable. I don't know if you call, honestly, if you're looking for a mirror, pretty cool. So, I said wait till the end of the video because I had something really cool to share with you guys, and that's that. And Kimmy Moto was so gracious enough to send one mirror that they said, hey, we'll send you three mirrors. That way you can give away two mirrors to your followers. So, I have two mirrors here for you guys. For you guys, if you want a mirror, these are yours right here. So what you're gonna need to do, you're gonna need to go to my Instagram. It's gonna be your favorite cyclist on Instagram. And I'm gonna have a post on my Instagram. You're gonna see it's gonna look just like this right here. So check that post out. Comment on that post. Comment, I love Kemimoto. I want a mirror. Mirrors are cool. You're gonna see that post and you're gonna comment on that. And I'm gonna pick two random people from that post to send mirrors out to. So you guys can have your own mirror for yourselves. So big thanks to Kemimoto for providing not only a mirror I reviewed, but also two mirrors so you guys can check them out for yourselves and have a mirror on your bikes if you want. So make sure you head over there, Instagram, your favorite cyclist, enter in, get yourself entered to win the first ever giveaway on my channel actually. A nice mirror for your bike. So again, huge thanks to Kemimoto. If you did enjoy the video and you've at least found it entertaining, give it a big thumbs up. Appreciate the support. Any comments or questions, let me know down in the comment section below. Love talking to you guys. Love answering any questions you guys have. And I will see you in the next video. And hopefully you go away with one of these mirrors.